I'd like to introduce to you Sherry Brzee and her horse Nick and the full name? J.R. Nick Shoemaker. J.R. Nick Shoemaker. And we just watched them perform here and, and you'll get to see some of that footage as well. Um, I like the choreography and that sort of thing you guys are doing. Thanks. What are your plans? Uh, first of all, how did you get hooked up with, with this horse? And uh, Just luck. <laughs> I had a call from his owner, Deb Johnson. Um, she had had him at a barn and somebody there that rode dressage had seen him and said, he's got some potential, you know, you should get him with a trainer. And Deb called me up and I came down to look at him in the field and I said, yeah, he looks like he could be, maybe do some dressage. Yeah. So we got started um, about a year and a half ago now. Mm -hmm. Got him in training then. And what, can you remember kind of what specifically you liked about him and what areas you kind of saw? Well, you know, just, you know, his, he's really long-legged for his breed and he's really built level. You know, so many of the quarter horses are built downhill and in dressage you're always trying to bring the horse up and, and teach them to travel uphill. Okay. So it didn't look like it was going to be a battle with him to get there. And he's very naturally, you know, he moves really freely and stuff. And so. how old is he now? Is he? he is six okay. this year. Six. Yeah, so I got him when he was just uh, four years old and coming along really quickly for his age. Yeah. And your plans for him? Um, this year we're going to compete at what is called second and third level. Um, what we were just working on today is called a musical cur, and that's putting the choreograph choreograph a pattern that goes with music that matches him and of course we're going with a bit of a western theme because yeah. of who he is. Um, so we have some big plans to show this year. We're going to head out to BC and probably down to the States for a couple shows. And, and just to step back a little bit, do you, you've already done very well with him. Yeah, last year was a super year. I just took him out at the first two levels of dressage and he had several high points. You know, he scored over 70 from some Olympic level judges and we were thrilled. Yeah, he was, he over, was wonderful. Over 70 and a good score would be? A uh, good score, 60, 65. Yeah. If you're hitting 70, you're really, you're really happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, he looks really good out there. He yeah, performs he's, well. He's doing well. He and seems to like it all too. Yeah, and super temperament. I mean, yeah. for a stallion, he's he's really easy to get along with, and he's mm -hmm. he's fun to work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thank you. Um, well, I've got you here. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask a little bit about the saddle, the snaffle, and that sort of thing. Right. That you use. Um, we just use, a, this is a dressage saddle, an English dressage saddle. The dressage compared to the jumping has a straighter cut back. The jumping has more of a cut up here so they can get their knees up there. We ride with quite a straight leg. Um, nothing, nothing else fancy about it, pretty straightforward. Uh, I just use a simple snaffle bridle. It usually has a double link in it. I can show it yeah. for you. Just a simple snaffle. It's got French link on it. Okay. Like that and then nice uh, and wide on that. Yeah, nice and thick. Yeah, that's nice. And the canvas and nose band with the flash attachment. So. And one other thing, if there's one thing you could tell people about dressage, what would it be? Or how do how does somebody that's interested in dressage get into it? And get involved in it. It's where do you get started? I would say everybody should give it a shot. It's a lot of fun, especially when you get involved in the musical curves. I mean, everybody out there is having a great time. Uh, there's lots of local clubs. Uh, the Alberta Dressage Association runs throughout the province. They have five different groups here in Central Alberta. It's the Parkland Area Dressage Association. And they have little schooling shows, and they'll hook you up with instructors and get you started in it. So, yeah. Well, thank you, Sherry. Okay, I appreciate you. you spending some time with us. And Super, thank you. Nick. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> All right. We we'll look forward to seeing you on the big screen. You bet. We'll All be right. out there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and just start to do a little bit of shoulder in with him too, Sherry. Oh, does he? <laughs> so could you tell us what you're doing right now? I'm measuring Nikki's gates. Uh, the tempo, his beats per minute, how many times his feet hit the ground so that I can play music that will have a rhythm that will match his footfalls. Do you just do it at the trot or you do no, it No, we do it at all, all three gates, yeah. Um, quarter horses, of, uh, probably of all breeds, generally have the least um, scopy walks. Okay. And that's largely because their front legs are so much shorter than their hind legs. Okay. He has a, for, for his breed, he has exceptional gaits in the trot and the canter. Okay. 
But um, in dressage, what you're looking for it, is that the horse can stretch. It can move with his hind leg quite far under the body so that he does what's called over tracking. Okay. But with this, but again, it's just a matter of what a horse physiologically is, is set up to do. But his trot and his canter are so good. And the horse that won the Olympics in Sydney, Australia, also didn't have a very exciting walk. So oh, <laughs> it doesn't hold him back perfect. too much. <laughs> I like that positive there. <laughs> Horses can do horses can do very well as long as they have two strong gates. If they have two gates that are strong, they can do really really well competitively. A horse that has three strong gates is um, is is exceptional. Actually, Are they harder to find. I would assume <laughs> they're harder to find. Yes. And and of course, with when you take in all the factors that prevent a horse from excelling in a sport, like soundness or finances on the part of the owner right. or a bad trainer or whatever. Um, you know, the ones that get to the top are quite often not the ones that were the super duper three gate okay. movers. They're the ones that had the really good attitude and enough ability to do all the work. Okay, so um, I did bring some Western themed. Oh. It's a really fun. I just I've always loved that music. I yeah, wanted to use it too. for my first freestyle actually, but the original doesn't have a strong enough rhythm. Oh, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Hey? yeah. And uh, and then somebody gave me this this spring, and I'm like, oh, how all fun. right. <laughs>